From atheism to astrophysics, from evolution to economics, from comparative religion to cults, from philosophy to politics, a voice of reason in our confused world, and a beacon of truth and hope in this age of uncertainty. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good evening, guys. This is Dr. Paul once again. Thank you very much. On this channel, we discuss creation evolution topic so many times. Last time I presented the evidence from medical science from my world field. As a physician I see people with mutations and I challenged evolution. It's what mutation can you show as the evidence for evolution? They could find not even one. I challenged. I could give you thousands of mutations which are detrimental to human survival and give me one mutation that can act as an evidence for evolutionary transformation they could come with not one. They could not even challenge my ideas. Today I want to talk from an entirely new branch that is dinosaurs. You see, we have been taught that birds evolved from dinosaurs and now new dinosaurs are being found with fibrous structures in groups that are not even in line to become the birds. Let me explain this. We have been taught that theropod dinosaurs became the birds. You remember the movie Jurassic Park, how it ends. You will see the birds and the idea is those dinosaurs transformed into the birds. But anatomically and paleontologically there is no reason to believe that birds evolved from dinosaurs. You see that dinosaurs have these lizard hip structures. So for these lizard hip structures to become the bird hip structures, a massive transformation has to take place. Not just in the structure of the feathers, but even in the very anatomy. The internal anatomy of dinosaurs have to change. That never happened. And actually, this anatomy is not right for the flight. I agree that the birds have two legs and dinosaurs have two legs, but the similarities, they end in that one respect. There is not a single trans transitional form that we could link between dinosaurs and birds. That's why this new one, Tianyulang Confucius, this new dinosaur fossil, it's a non theropod dinosaur, yet it has fibrous structures. Now this this is just boggling, it's shocking Darwin's because it's not in line. It's not a theropod dinosaur that has these fibrous processes. And now the problem is if this non theropod dinosaur has this, what is happening? In nature, Lawrence Whitmore of Ohio University said, perhaps the only clear conclusion that can be drawn is that little Tianyulong has made an already confusing picture of feather origins even fuzzier. That's what this university professor from Ohio State University is saying. The picture, the theropod to bird story, is already a tale of confusion. Now this new dinosaur fossils from unrelated groups of dinosaurs are actually making the picture even fuzzier. So the, iman the imaginary tale that the birds and the dinosaurs are linked to each other have never been confirmed because those earliest ancestors, their transitional forms have never been found. Those ancestors in evolutionary cycles have never been found. And if you see the fossil record, you will see the sudden appearance of dinosaur fossils. And there is this massive extinction of dinosaurs, not just here in the United States, in Gobi Desert in China, and in Europe. All these were have a massive extinction. That's why it proves the biblical account of the flood. It is the flood that actually caused all these dinosaurs 
to become extinct. It's not that 65 million years ago theory when these astronomical objects came and hit the planet and destroyed these fossils of these dinosaurs. So evolution guys is one of the most ridiculous ideas ever invented in the name of science. The only reason it is surviving in academia is some people are just religiously fanatical about it. There is no evidence. All the evidences they have come up have been proved to be wrong and in many cases they were just made up and the same with these dinosaurs to birds story. And people should be aware of this and if any Darwinist or evolutionist wants to debate I am ready. At any place, anywhere in the United States, feel free to challenge me. I come and we can debate this issue if we allow the freedom of speech in this country. If there is freedom of speech in this country, let's have a honest debate. We have mutations, fossils, all the evidence pointing to creation. Please visit our website at www.kgpaul.com to browse through our products and resources. You can also share Dr. Paul's vision and burden by becoming a partner in his ministry. For more details, please visit us at www.kgpaul.com. Thank you, and God bless you.